What's up guys, Michaela here. I'm a pre and postnatal certified fitness coach. In today's video, I have a five minute safe pregnancy core workout for you today that you can do in your first, second, and third trimester. If you do these exercises every single day, you are gonna be able to get your tummy back after having birth because you'll have that stronger core foundation. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The exercises we're gonna be starting with today is one, the seated TA breathing, two, bent knee fallout, three, side laying TA breath, four, TA arm swing, five, TA march, six, kneeling TA breathing, and seven, the hip hike. We're starting off by doing our seated TA breathing. You wanna start by putting one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly because you wanna be able to feel your belly breathing through here. So the goal is, is as you inhale, you're going to feel your stomach expand and then as you exhale, breathe out through your mouth and squeeze your transverse abdominals. You really wanna envision bringing all of your core muscles together and bringing them tight. Envision that transverse abdominals really helping to to engage your core. You should feel a burn here and you want to do this back to back until the 30 seconds is up. From here we're going to go ahead and roll onto our side to get onto our back and we're going to be doing the bent knee fallout. So it's really important when you do this exercise that you're making sure that you're keeping your transverse abdominals and your core engaged so that when you bring your leg down towards the floor, you are keeping that stomach nice and tight and not rotating those hips. This should burn. If it's not burning and if you're not feeling that core sensation, then that means you're probably rotating your hips too much. So just really focusing on keeping your hips still and only moving your legs up and down. Up next, we have our side laying TA breathing. So you can either have your head down like so or prop yourself up with your elbow. I like to have myself up and you can either have your legs bent or straight, it doesn't matter. But this one is just like what we did before with the seated TA breathing. The only difference is that it's a different position. So some people do feel better when they do a side laying TA breathing versus a sitting down. So it's very important that you do a little bit of all of them so that you, that you definitely get that burning sensation and that you're definitely working out your transverse abdominals. We're gonna go back onto our back and do the TA arm swing. So make sure your feet are propped up by your butt and extend your arm back and forth as you go down to the floor. Engage and squeeze your core. This is super, super important to really make sure you feel this exercise. I know this one looks like a really easy and silly exercise, but I promise you guys, if you are doing this right and properly practicing the belly breathing, you will feel this one. Now for the next exercise, we're getting back up and we're doing our seated TA breathing again. So now that you guys have already done this one, you guys should be pros at this one by now. But again, focusing on really feeling that engagement and squeezing as you exhale, making sure that you're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. We're doing this for another 30 seconds. Now 
moving on to our next exercise, we're going to be doing the TA march. So we're going to be getting back onto our back. Now, I do want to say when you are pregnant, you want to avoid laying on your back longer than 30 seconds at a given time. And this is to ensure yours and baby's safety. So go ahead and put one leg towards your chest and come down. Now, notice that I am engaging my core, squeezing and again, practicing that belly breathing. Up next, we're going to be in a kneeling seated position wide enough to get your belly in between your legs. And again, we're practicing that TA belly breathing. So again, this one can ensure that you can feel it because it is a different position. Really making sure that you breathe in through the nose and exhale through the mouth, really bringing that whole core towards the spine. You should feel a burning sensation and that's how you know if you're working out properly. Moving straight onto your back, we're going back to the TA arm swing. Again, making sure that your core is all the way to the spine, that the back is not arching too much, and really making sure that you focus on that belly breathing as you go back and forth. Moving on to our last exercise, the hip hike. Now you want to be in a standard position for this one. And the goal is, is to lift up that hip and squeeze your transverse abdominals as well as those obliques. And then just tap your foot ever so slightly on the floor. This is not a lifting of the leg, but rather a lifting of the torso. This is really, really important to keep in mind to be able to really make sure that you're working out properly rather than just lifting up the leg up and down. So make sure that you feel that burn in that side oblique muscle. And then we're going to do this for the other side for 30 seconds. And that is it for my five minute pregnancy safe core workout. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, it is not a bad thing to work out your core while pregnant if doing it safely. Have a good one, guys.